Hello everyone, my name is Xinzhe Wang. I will present our paper Detecting and Understanding Self-Deleting JavaScript Code in the Web Conference 2024. Self-deletion is a technique in which a program deletes its own binary file or any other resources after it starts execution. It has been widely adopted in real-world malware samples as a traditional defense evasion and anti-analysis technique. We found that self-deletion can also be used in client-side JavaScript. When the web the page's JavaScript code is passed into a DOM tree, it is mapped to a JavaScript object and executed in the browser's JavaScript engine later. Once a script starts execution, the original source code contained in the web page can be deleted. In this paper, we first systematically studied how self-deletion works. Clients and JavaScript can be deleted through two ways, delete host element and delete a host attribute. However, it is challenging to map scripts created through many different ways to the host container. Depending on the relationship of the two scripts, we can also categorize self-deletion into three classes. However, it's challenging to check runtime mutable inclusion relationship. We propose the JS3, a browser-based JavaScript runtime monitoring system, to study client side script deletion. We developed a dynamic script inclusion monitor to construct the script relationship introduced. Then we use the JavaScript and DOM mapper to obtain the element or attribute container of the script. With this information, we can successfully monitor the script deletion on the page. To better understand the behavior of the script, we monitor this sensitive API access at the same time. We measured 1 million websites on the web using our tool. Our results showed that self-deletion is prevalent in the world. We found 42% websites have at least one script deletion operation. Among these websites, GitHub also contains self-deleting script we defined. We found that 92% of self-deleting scripts in our samples are benign. Third-party libraries like jQuery use this technique to achieve better compatibility. It can also be used to protect intellectual property by hiding the core code on the page. However, we believe the other 80% of samples are attempting to hide suspicious or even malicious operations by hiding themselves. Our monitor reported that this script performed more sensitive API calls than normal ones. They are also 5.6 times more likely to be included in popular filter lists. We hope that our initial investigation could shed light on this emerging problem and facilitate future research.